Today at 6, Texas, the state with the second highest number of long COVID cases. That's according to the American Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation, which has been releasing guidance statements on each symptom of long COVID. Courtney Freeman reports this week they released new guidance on cardiovascular symptoms. For many people, recovering from their initial COVID infection is just the beginning. Upwards to 30% of people who are infected with COVID will go on to develop long-term problems. The Academy's president-elect, Dr. Stephen Flanagan, says some of the most serious symptoms are cardiovascular. So we know that their common uh, myocardial injury uh, has been reported in up to 40% of, uh, of individuals. Acute heart failure in a third of patients who've been hospitalized for COVID. We are seeing many people who had mild disease, were never hospitalized in the acute phase, develop cardiovascular disorder. Dr. Jonathan Whiteson is the lead author of the guidance statement, which he says has three parts. The first being a wake up call. A call to action for patients, for clinicians, healthcare providers, for healthcare systems, for insurance companies, for government agencies, for researchers. Second, they included specific guidance for healthcare providers on how to spot and treat long COVID cardiovascular issues. For clinicians, not to misconstrue or underestimate what these symptoms may be. They may represent cardiac disease, even in the absence of other cardiac risk factors. And lastly, the statement addresses healthcare inequities for minorities and underserved communities. After the hospitalization, these patients do not have access to the rehabilitative needs. Um, they don't have access to equipment that they need. Dr. Alba Azola, who co-authored the paper, calls the statement a warning that inaction now could lead to a health disaster later. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.